My name is Cosi Vidoris. Thanks for your interest in my poster, Direct Human AI Comparison in the Animal AI Environment. Artificial intelligence has been in the headlines in recent years due to its remarkable success in certain domains. DeepMind's AlphaGo stunned the world when it beat Go Grandmaster Lee Sedol in a tournament in 2016. OpenAI's GPT-3 natural language processor has been lauded for its astonishing ability to generate convincing human-like text. However, several AI developers and commentators have questioned whether these systems have genuine behavioral flexibility that is robust across a range of novel contexts. For the better part of a century, comparative psychologists have been developing methods to try to tell between behaviors that indicate genuine behavioral flexibility and those that don't, in an effort to seek out any potential clever hands effects. The animal AI environment was developed to test AI systems using these paradigms to examine more closely whether an AI system really does have genuinely sophisticated and robust behavioral flexibility. In this study, we were interested in determining how cutting edge AIs compared to biological agents, in this case, human children. We took a sample of 30 deep reinforcement learning systems and compared them to 52 children aged six to 10. We compared them on 10 different abilities ranging from simple navigation and spatial reasoning to object permanence and tool use, using variations on established paradigms from the comparative cognition literature. These tasks were novel to both the AIs and the children, thus enabling us to assess to what extent each agent was able to generalize and flexibly apply their knowledge to the problems at hand. We found that on basic tasks, testing simple navigation or preferences for certain kinds of stimuli over others, AIs and children performed similarly. However, on all other abilities, children consistently and significantly outperformed the AIs, even top performing agents. Here is a task requiring navigation around a translucent obstacle, a kind of detour task testing aspects of motor self-regulation. A seven-year-old completes it easily. The top scoring AI, true, cannot solve this. Here is a hook task, which tests causal understanding and knowledge of object affordances. It involves pushing this block to drag the reward out of the red zone. A nine-year-old passes this with relative ease. But Ironbar, another top scoring agent, fails to solve the problem. So, Artificial intelligence still has a long way to go before it is at the level of human children in terms of behavioral flexibility. While AI has excelled at outperforming humans in well-defined contexts, such as board games, they remain far worse than us when performing these novel cognitive tasks. This study is also a proof of concept, hopefully instigating a mutually beneficial dialogue between cognitive science and AI using the animal AI environment as a research tool.